Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome to Let's Play Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, where we left off. We had um, infiltrated this building where uh, we got our our first key card of uh, of many, and we're about to head on to floor 10. But first, let's before we go on to floor 10, let's actually see let's see how many floors there are here. There's actually oh. We just have four floors, okay. I feel the snake's actually moving a lot. I think a snake actually moves differently in the elevators than uh, on other screens. Like, it might have to do with, like, there being, like, no other, uh, like, things around or something, but like, I'm moving a lot faster, I feel. A lot more fluid. Okay. So the doors are opening? Okay, okay. Okay, now I, I do remember this. Okay, I do remember a lot of this stuff. We're gonna get like a lot of colored rooms. Oh, so that guy's got a, ga a gas mask, you can see. Possibly showing us. Possibly, um, sh showing that, uh, there is something. Very great, very dangerous, very terrifying to be withheld. Okay, okay, okay let's, uh, let's head back in here. Now that, that room has got gas in there, so we'll uh, be, we could go out or whatever. Um, Snake does have a, like, a, like a breathing meter, like he can breathe for a little bit before um, running out, but I'm not I don't actually remember if you can get it if you get a gas mask before you go in there well you might just have to like brave it because we will be going in there fairly shortly I'm pretty sure oh if you notice if you notice there's a red dot on the bottom right of the screen it said uh, Kiyomarv was a red dot I wonder if that red dot is Kiyomarv I'm actually I'm actually uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I, I know the answer to that, but, uh, like I said, it's been a while. So, uh... You never know. That little mouse thing there, I don't think I ever used. Um, that's like some weird weapon. Um, I don't think actually, we probably won't actually be getting in there for like a, a lot later, because that door I'm pretty sure is probably like level 7 or something. But, uh... I actually don't really know what that thing thing does. Like it's just kind of, it's like a like a trap or something for enemies. I, I think it's weird. So some level one. Car oh, oh, that's not. Oh, that's a. That thing there was actually was a um. A bit of a, a weird booby trap type thing. That uh, is very dangerous. Um, basically you get caught in those lasers and it's like a, a security camera. Oh, so we cannot, so we might have to try to get past that laser thing. Actually, I don't think, it's not lasers, I think it's like a, like, sonic, like, I think it's, it's sound, I think. Is it what it's supposed to be? Maybe, I'm not really sure. Um, basically those, uh, red lines touch you and you are caught. Let me just okay. Let's just see. So okay. So it yeah. It sounds like every like there's a rhythm to it. Okay. And and they obviously do have range. Oh. Here. I want to be very careful because there are. There are straight up laser beams. Um. There's a. Not sure if smoking hurts our health there, but yeah, smoking lets you see uh, the lasers. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure that's uh, realistic at all. Um, I know uh, in Metal Gear Solid, it, it, it illustrates the effect much better, where the smoke actually sort of like shows the lasers a bit more. But um, I'm not really sure that it really like does smoke actually show invisible lasers. I, I'm, I'm not really. 
Oh, oh actually, oh, let's, uh... So you do get a bit of time. Oh, so we could go, oh yeah, we could go for the, to, through the dust chute that, um, Holly told us was, um... Uh, 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 I went, went to, um, the basement, I'm pretty sure. I'm washing my health to make sure. Oh, this is... I'm not actually sure if this, uh... We might not be able to open this door. But I'm gonna try it. Oh, that's not good. No, let's, okay, let's just let's just see if it what we can do. Nope. Okay, so it was a a pointless effort. Pointless effort indeed. But you know, you gotta, you gotta make pointless effort sometimes. Oh. So our real goal, I'm pretty sure here is is the is the dust bin. Oh man. Let me just see what is uh, all down here. I like the animations of Snake uh, smoking. Like a, it's a cool little thing. <laughs> that was a bit dangerous. Okay, nice. Gas mask. Oh, well, that's not good. We fell right for the trap. Oh, nice. So there, instead of setting enemies, they actually uh, poisoned us. But we got the gas mask, which was, which was very nice. Like I said, I didn't even know if uh, we would get the be getting the, the gas mask anytime soon. But uh, you go on adventures and you, you, you oh, you get nice rewards. I, I for some reason didn't realize. Not quite sure, right? It seems to flicker every now and then, but it doesn't. Okay, so we cannot crawl under it. Nor can we open the door, so let's just, uh... Pretend that never happened. We get through here, and all will be fine. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it does not really matter if we get caught here because uh, they won't be able to find us anyway. Now we could head into the room. Oh, wait. Oh, oh okay, okay. We could head into the room, we could have headed into the room that was filled with gas or whatever, but I'm pretty sure back there is not where, that's not where we want to go, where we want to go yet. For uh, many reasons, but uh, mainly because it's a very dangerous, oh, that's not, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, okay then. I pity the poor fellow who ends up, who would end up going oh actually never mind. You probably could not have you probably couldn't have gotten back like to that point without having the uh the key card. But uh, I can I can imagine some poor fella being very, 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 very uh, supr uh surprised in a very, very sad way. So this is okay, that this is a very weird aspect of this game. Um I think I don't think there was this was in Metal Gear One. I knew that there were like POWs that you could like rescue and whatnot, but in this game, there's children. There's a lot of children kind of just walking around the uh, premises of um of a uh, what you call it of uh, Zanzibar Land, which uh, I think the idea is that these are these are children that um the people of Zanzibar Land are sort of these are future soldiers um. You know, the, the, the MGS series uh, touches upon 
um, you know, later on, you know, child soldiery or whatever. Um, and so here we we get the little fellas right, right up there. So let's add. So here we have actually have a, a basement elevator that we couldn't have gone to the basement before, but now we can. In an elevator. Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. Oh, that's a lot of, uh... Oh, actually. Okay, I don't think that, um... I think that we're pretty much safe here. I don't think that these, uh, these dots are all enemies. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> So there's a door, there's a weird orange door there. Let's see if we can open it. Snake is a strong man being able to punch, like, punch a fella to death, three punches. Oh, nice. That will be very, very nice for, uh, if you were longing for the am ammunition. I'm not really sure if there's much, many else, like, much else places we could go. So let's head up for now, I guess. Oh, so that took us straight to floor two. I'm wondering if we, maybe we should have gone into the gas mask room, because cause there's a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. Wait, okay, so I, as I understand it then, the basement cannot be, be accessed from floor one, but can be accessed from floor two. Okay, I think I got, I think I got it now. And so, so specifically, this right elevator here. Oh! That's, that's... That's a uh, actually make, makes my stomach like turn. Let's just use that thing because that that is our health should not be that low. That is living like madmen. What, what? I don't know why why I did that. I don't, don't want to be on this floor. I want to go back to floor th three and check out the gas mask room. I believe. Actually, let's check out floor, uh, floor 4. I don't think we, we actually went there. Alright then. See, uh, on the bottom left there, you got a lot of fellas. And we cannot do anything. So, okay, so let's... Head right on back then. Nope. 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 Okay. Let's see, right? So that's four, three, two, one. Oh, okay. I was trying to like count to see if uh, like this, the notching above the elevator actually could correlate to what floor the elevator was at, or whatever. I'm gonna see a lot of that little fox. Oh, you head... You head left, I head right. 
You had down, I had down also to kill you. Alright, so we're gonna put on our gas mask. Oh, so the gas mask actually only heightens our breath, does not make it infinite. Oh, oh that's not good. And we're gonna have to take it off. What do you know? Red dot? Kim? Okay then. I, I, I legitimately thought that, I thought that was uh, someone else. Haha! <laughs> Fool foxhounder! Da oh, oh, actually. Oh, okay, 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 okay I, I was correct. I was correct. Dr. Marv is not here. Trying to trick us with a cheap emitter you fox hounders are quite out of date what is your true identity I'm black color from NASA special forces okay, a lot of the um as per the renaming thing, I think a black color was like re renamed to Black Ninja in like the re-releases, I believe. Show me how good you foxhounders really are. Come on, foxhounder. Oh boy, okay. Oh boy, okay, so let's just... He should not be too difficult, right? But yeah. Every time you hit him, you get, every time you hit a boss, you get that little screen there, which honestly like becomes very oh. It's exciting to see that, like when you, when you know you get a hit. So this is actually not the boss fight that I, I was thinking was gonna happen. I thought we were gonna get another boss fight, um, which is interesting. <laughs> I think, I think it's a it's supposed to be shurikens, I think. For some, it reminded me of a... Oh. Reminded me of spiders. Oh, okay then. We'll have no mercy upon you. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's, I need to... Oh gosh, like, oh, like, you gotta be so accurate with your, with your hit. Oh. We could, in theory, run, I'm pretty sure, from him. But I'm not really sure where all we could go. It doesn't seem that he actually teleports. I think he like appears in different places whenever we hit him, but it do doesn't look like he's actually going anywhere. Um, okay. This is not... I think I'm in a very, I'm just in a bit very bad spot, like with no help, like with no rations and whatnot.
the uh, the distance of, of your shots does not really does not help at all. If we just circle around them, oh, never mind. I was gonna say like if we just circle around them, like there could be no no reason no way he could hit us. Oh, he did just teleport. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait, oh, so it does... Okay, so he, he did legitimately just teleport then. For a little bit. Come on now. Oh, almost, perhaps. Oh. Okay then, let us, uh, well, I'm not really sure, I think I might very well be, well, we can run away technically. But what the good of that is, I'm not quite sure. Perhaps maybe if there was a, a ration somewhere that I knew of, I could, okay, I'm just gonna try this one more time and then I'll call the video if I die. I know this is a, probably is uh, making you guys very furious. Oh, like at that time right there, right, you could see that the it looked like the bullet straight up just went through him. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Well, almost got him. Oh, yep. Oh, nice. We got him. That was uh, simple enough. Snake. Who are you? How do you know my name? It's me. Schneider. Kyle Snyder. Remember me? Snyder. Resistance member in Outer Heaven? But then, why didn't they kill you? Snake, you're still too immature. It's not them who tried to kill me. It's your country. I don't understand. After you beat Metal Gear, NATO conducted an air raid. Resistance members, women and children in the outer heaven. We were all abandoned. Many died in the flames. No. Can't be. Children in outer heaven were formerly war orphans. They didn't like the existence of those children to go public. Never. Maybe. Someday they'll forget you too. However, he... He? He rescued us. Gave us new land. New families. Who do you mean? Soon you will learn of his greatness. Snake, I owe you and hold you to res no resentment. It's not against his will. 
I'll tell you where the doctor is. The guard of his cell is a green beret. Look for him on the first floor. Tell him you can reach his cell. Good. Bye. Snake. Well then. A good little uh, info dump. That was th that I really like. I really I like that that type of stuff. I, I really like a good info dump in video games for some reason. Like there's a big break in the action, just to, for the characters to talk about stuff, you know. So that was good. We, we um we were in a bad spot. Ended up beating him. Like uh. I was getting discouraged. Like I was, I was thinking to myself, man, these fellas, you know, these viewers are hating me right now. But I did it, and I'm, and I'm happy with myself. So now I'm pretty sure we can. Uh... So what did he give us? Yeah. So now we have card key number two, which should open number two doors. Obviously, we have no way of knowing those, so we had to switch through each door, like manually. And also, we can hold, um, we don't know that yet, but, uh, we can hold more ammunition. But I'm gonna call the video there, folks. And, uh, next time we'll, as, as the, as Schneider said, the man who guards, uh, Kiyomar's cell is in a green, er, is a green beret. So that's the only information we're about to go on. So we'll, uh, we'll see if we can... Figure something out next time. Let's play Metal Gear 2, Salt Snake. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time, look it out.